I haven't made a video in so long that I don't even remember how to start. Hello everyone. So I haven't made a video in months. The plan for this video is just to explain to you guys why I haven't been on YouTube for so long slash just my I guess thought process surrounding YouTube as has carried me through the past year that I have not really ever said anything about. I don't really know exactly all that I'm going to say. So um, I realize that some things might upset some people. My intention isn't to bash other YouTubers or viewers related to the things that I mention. It's more of just to explain to you all from my perspective what YouTube has become for me and the things that I see in YouTube. I don't know. I'm just going to go ahead and get started trying to make sense of everything that I have going on in my head. So Morgan, why have you not been on YouTube for two months? Honestly, I have fallen out of love with YouTube. YouTube used to be like the best part of my life. I would dedicate every ounce of my time to like going on YouTube, reading comments, watching other people's videos, getting ideas, you know, filming, editing. It was where I got all of my fulfillment from to the very like core of my being was YouTube. I feel like friendships were ruined because of YouTube in my life. Looking back, I really don't know why I made this the biggest thing that I guess ever happened to me or whatever. I used to very much validate myself with the number of subscribers or views or whatever I had and you guys might be like, Morgan, you're not even like YouTube famous. And you know, yeah, I realize that, but it doesn't take a comparatively big number to other YouTubers to still feel like really cool about yourself. I turned it into something that fueled my like value. For those of you who don't know, I am a Christian and it wasn't until I went to college about this time last year that I really understood Jesus, I guess, or was really like hit with his love and just understanding like what his heart is for me and like what he desires for me. And it became very clear that his plan for me wasn't to slave over every grade I get to um, validate myself with that or find my worth in my YouTube channel. I had a choice between defining myself by the number of subscribers I have or defining myself um, by the identity that I have in Christ. I guess YouTube was something that very easily just sort of floated away from my concerns, I guess. I just didn't need to keep my subscriber count rising in order to be like happy in life. If my channel like died someday, you know, kind of I guess how it is now, I've made a video in two months. It wasn't going to destroy me, and it hasn't. I don't know, I guess I thought that I would feel like some part of my life was missing if I ever stopped doing YouTube. I really didn't feel like I was missing any part of me by not making videos. So because of that, I definitely let YouTube hit the back burner. It's not really something I regret. It's not to say that I've never cared about YouTube um, or that I don't care about you guys who watch me. I do appreciate everyone's support. I don't know, I feel like I had let for so long YouTube take over my life and sort of control my friendships and control everything I did and in college I was not going to make that mistake again and YouTube really fell off the face of the earth. I ended up staying here for the whole summer and part of my intention was that this time would be um, a great time to you know get back into YouTube not in the same way that I had in the past where like this is something that I have to do but just sort of like oh I actually have time to commit to this now like this will be something that I get back into. It was during this time that I realized that I guess I had fallen out of love with YouTube to be dramatic. This is when I realized that I really didn't like YouTube anymore for three main reasons. Um, first one being I guess the YouTube community and this is where I guess I can get some hate for this. But this isn't geared towards any certain person so no one should draw some meaning from that that's not there. I don't know I just think it's really disturbing how YouTubers are like little celebrities now and how um, it definitely does go to everyone's head. You're sitting in your bedroom like filming yourself and making videos and putting them on the internet. People think this makes them like the greatest Thing to ever walk the planet. I don't know, I've seen people change from this like fame. It bothers me when like people will ask you a question on your Instagram and 
you won't answer it because you, I guess, think you're too cool, you're above that. If your friend asked you that question, would you answer it? Yeah. So stop calling your viewers friends if you're not even going to give them, like, a second of your attention because if you did, that would be lowering yourself to, like, your followers level. You know, who wants that, I guess. And, you know, I'm guilty of turning a blind eye to stuff like that, too. But, like, that's someone, like, spending their time asking you a question that you, it would take you maybe one second to answer about where you got your shirt or something, I don't know. You just choose not to answer it because I guess that gives you more cool points. And that's just like really stupid. You can tell from people's tweets and just the way they talk in their videos who has this sort of mentality that they're above everyone else and who doesn't. And the people that do, I think it's really stupid. Yes, I know more and more people are going on YouTube to get their video content these days and that this is sort of becoming like a real life, like Hollywood famous thing, whatever. But, you know, you also have the power to, I guess, like, revolutionize the connection between you and your fans that, like, people in movies and stuff don't have the ability to do. So I just feel like if there's a way for this to, like, evolve as, like, this becomes something that most, like, teenagers are watching rather than, like, television shows as much, I guess it, like, feels good to have everyone, like, in awe of you, but I just feel like it's such an opportunity to make this, like, an actual cool thing where you actually interact with your fans on, like, people can on television. I just feel like this could be done in such a better way that it really changed the game and it's not being done that way. And I do also recognize that, you know, when you get to a certain point, like, you can't respond to your comments because there are just, like, actually so many of them. But, like, you can still do it some without trying to make yourself this, like, unreachable celebrity. It also disturbs me how, like, so many people at home like, look up to YouTubers to the point that they're like, you're my idol, I want to be just like you. I got a tweet at me recently that was like, at TFG Morgan is life. That makes me really uncomfortable because I don't want to be anyone's life. I don't want to be anyone's, like, image of what they aspire to be like. You guys know, like, such a limited part, like, of me and of my life as you do of everyone else. YouTubers are actually such normal people who do such normal things. I don't get why people spend all their time and energy trying to invest themselves to be like this other person when you could just be yourself. In reality, all you have to do to be a YouTuber is turn on a camera, so turn on a camera and there you are. It's not to say that I don't appreciate everyone's support. Like I said, I seriously do. I love meeting you guys. I love hearing your feedback and getting comments and tweets, but not in a way that's like, I wish I were you. I guess my point in saying this is just to make my intention clear that I'm not trying to be some role model. I'm not, you know, striving after people telling me that, you know, I'm their life and I'm perfect because that's not what I want. I guess right now I'm speaking to the viewers, all of you who watch me and everyone else, like, stop wasting your time wishing that you were someone who sits in the room and films videos on the floor wearing a shirt and pajama pants who literally have the most regular lives, most similar to you literally ever, and you wish you were them. Like, yeah, watch YouTubers for entertainment, whatever, learn some things from them. I'm not saying that that's wrong at all. I'm saying that I think it is an incredibly inefficient waste of efforts to wish you were someone else. I don't know, just like degrade yourself in hopes of someday just waking up being some other person. And I just think that everyone should just let that go and watch YouTube videos for what they are and interact with YouTubers for what it is and not make them into some high and mighty person. Stop comparing yourself to YouTubers. You know, you're never going to be that person you're obsessed with. My second reason has to do with a lot of things that I guess my eyes have been open to. Ever since I've been in college, I've had some class related to like new media or like media presentations and communications and just all sorts of things related to the media's presentation of girls and how this sort of shapes society's um, expectations and pressures that they put on girls from a very young age to, you know, look a certain way, act a certain way, like be a certain like image that, you know, the media forms and that girls then therefore engage in watching, you know, movies or seeing magazines or watching YouTube videos um, and that this is the um, expectation that they get of this is what I'm supposed to aspire to be like. I'm not just talking about like physical image, although yeah that is like most relevant to like I guess type of videos that I make, but I'm talking about like in all regards, like this is what I'm supposed to be doing, like I should be acting this way and talking this way. The media is just what shapes this overall framework of what girls should be like. I forget the number, but there's some statistic about the percentage of teenagers that are going online for their video content as opposed to watching TV, and it's a really shockingly high number. That being said, this is exclusively where, on YouTube, a lot of those girls are getting their 
understanding and like expectations for themselves like this is where they're creating that for themselves based on what they see and I guess that was just a very disturbing moment for me where I realized that I have been a part of creating this that like my videos and things I've said in, in like previous videos has impacted some girl to think oh this is what I need to do like to make myself prettier to make myself like likable or like more popular or worthy or you know insert whatever it is here and it makes me like embarrassed to like be a part of that we were talking about that in my class and this is after um i've already like processed all these things and realized like how i have played into this like role of the media and i was just like so embarrassed to have you know created these types of videos that girls subscribe to and i don't mean like subscribe to the channel i mean like subscribe to these ideas and these like expectations and i'm not saying it's bad to make makeup tutorials for whatever or show your workout routine or things like that but if not done carefully and if other messages aren't like promoted alongside those then girls are seeing this and saying this is what i need to do to be pretty like i need to do my makeup this way i know i feel like it's so rarely supplemented with a message of this isn't what you like need to do to like be important or be like pretty or whatever the thing is it's just like i'm showing you this makeup tutorial and you should do this if you want to like look good for the fall you should do this workout routine if you want to have like toned sexy abs that's somehow gonna make you like a better and happier person and even in like the really subtle ways the youtubers you're watching you know when they're editing they leave in the clips where they look the skinniest and look the prettiest so like you're still you know youtubers are still passing on that message so like i feel like people watch thinking like oh this is what this person's like when in reality while it may not be like a photoshop picture in a magazine it's an edited down perfected video to where you're seeing a very like filtered out um part of this person but what i'm saying is like even youtubers like are careful in their presentations of themselves and what you're seeing isn't entirely them it's not entirely me people should be cautious in like their understanding of watching other youtubers and realize while people can say like this is my real life all they want and i'm not saying that they're lying at all you can know everything that a person has ever said about themselves in a video and you still don't know everything about that person you know no one is as quick to promote the bad things about themselves as they are the good things about themselves i feel like youtubers aren't a fair standard to compare yourself to or to try to be like but it just really annoys me how things i've said in the past point out all these flaws to young girls watching or any age and say like oh you have like dark under eye circles here's the solution to fixing that well there's probably some girl who's never sat at home and thought oh i have dark under eye circles and then now they see your video and then they're like oh wow like this is a flaw you told them to fix it quote fix because we're the ones creating these problems the same way that like magazines do and it's just really stupid because what you're telling people is that you're not good enough as you are and that these are all the things wrong with you and that you should watch my videos and follow what I tell you to do in order to you know jump back up to this standard of perfection. I'm not really annoyed that I made makeup tutorials, I'm not saying that's something I'm never going to do going forward but I'm just annoyed at how the content that's presented is very one-sided. It's always this is what you should do to look better but like it's never joined alongside with something that says like this isn't where your worth is this isn't what's gonna actually make you happy this isn't what's gonna fulfill you like none of that's ever said the third reason that I have just not been making videos this year is just because makeup is not a passion of mine anymore I've probably worn eyeshadow like three times this whole school year it used to be something that I thought was like the most fun thing in the world I would like love going makeup shopping now like I go in Sephora and I'm just like I don't know it's just old to me it's boring I like other things way better than I like makeup these days and I just feel silly like coming on YouTube and showing you guys like a hair tutorial when in reality this is what I do to my hair every day and like I'm not saying that's wrong to think those things are fun and be passionate about those things but like in my own life if these aren't things that I'm interested in anymore personally it doesn't make much sense for me to sit in front of a camera and like talk them up to you guys. If I want you guys to actually know me, it just seems counterproductive to create this like online version of myself like that is really into makeup and hair and all these things when if someone in my real life, like one of my friends were to watch it and they'd be like, that's not, it's not really Morgan. Going forward, I just wanna address like what I plan to do on my channel from here out. And the funny thing is I don't really have a plan. After realizing that these are all of the things that I really 
I guess dislike about making videos or about YouTube in general. I don't know. I realized like at the end of the day, like I like making videos. I like filming. I love editing times a thousand and that the things that I named at the beginning of this video are the things that I don't like. And I've also realized in the very recent like past week that those things are still avoidable. They're like I can make videos, you know, they don't have to be about makeup they don't have to be about something I don't enjoy anymore so I don't know what my videos are gonna be about maybe they'll be more like vloggy talking videos maybe I'll do some advice videos maybe I'll do some like Bible study videos if that's what you guys want maybe I'll like vlog my life and put up videos like that and also going forward I just feel like it's a lot healthier for me personally because I've let go of the expectation that YouTube is going to fulfill me you know YouTube's never gonna give me my worth like I can hit a million subscribers that doesn't make me a better person than I am right now that doesn't make me any cooler that doesn't make me any more like worthy of having a bunch of friends no change to this YouTube channel whether it becomes the most popular one on YouTube or dies and I lose all my subscribers and neither of those like change anything about me like, I have the choice to get my joy and like my peace and my fulfillment from a number on a website or I can get it from Jesus. I just feel like it's gonna be a lot healthier for me making videos to not be operating out of that mindset and instead um, be operating under the understanding that those things like will not come from anything in the world and that if I try to get those things from the world, like the world will fail me and that like God is the only thing that can provide me those and like for that reason, you know, any change to circumstances don't like what does it really matter? So maybe finally realizing these things will allow me to um, use YouTube with the freedom that I've been missing out on all along. Yeah, I don't know what's next for YouTube. That was the longest video in the whole world. I hope that you've learned something from this video. Maybe not a life lesson. The goal is just for you guys to understand like from my standpoint the thought processes that have been going on surrounding YouTube. No hard feelings viewers, youtubers alike. Thanks for listening to that whole thing and comment any feedback you have below. Hope to see you stick around into the future <laughs> and that's all for today so I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Over and out.